Hello everyone, welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. So this past month I was back in the West Coast for a weekend and I decided to go check out the Sling 2. Now this video was a request by some subscribers, uh, those who saw my review for the Sling 4. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right there at the top. So today I'm at Torrance again and instead of the Sling 4 we are checking out the Sling 2 which is the little brother. Hey guys, so this video is brought to you by my new blog called TheIncomeDriver.com. Apparently I have a knack for riding too. But anyway, go check it out. A lot of good information there. It is free and a lot of what I talk about is how to build good habits and build wealth, eventually live your dream life. I'm no expert, but I think I can teach you a little bit of things here and there. Okay, so let's get to the video. So for those of you who are not yet familiar with this airplane, the Sling 2 is a two-seater uh, in the LSA category. This airplane is originally designed and manufactured in South Africa. But the airplane factory guys are also based down here in Los Angeles, southeast of LA. So about the airplane, as you can see here, the first thing to me that stands out about the Sling 2 is the design. I think Airplane Factory have done such a neat job in designing these airplanes. And if you look at the Sling 2, say next to the Sling 4, these airplanes look very similar. Uh, but once you get up close and personal, you see that they're two completely different airplanes. For example, you have the Sling 4 with the doors that opens on the side, and then with the Sling 2, you have a sliding door. Now, another thing you can appreciate about the Sling 2, and really all Sling airplanes, is the size. So initially, when I reviewed the, the Sling 4, I thought the interior space was very comfortable. And the same thing here with the Sling 2. Actually, it's one of the most spacious LSA you find out there. The width of that cabin is about 44 inches, but more importantly is the seat position. Again, I'm 5'10", and I was able to sit in this airplane very comfortably. And one really cool uh, feature with the Sling 2 is that you can adjust the seat. So you can fit someone that's maybe taller. Uh, so if you're in the 6'2", 6'3", range, you can actually fit in this airplane. All you gotta do is pull the lever right by the seat and then pull the seat back a little bit and be able to get some extra leg room. But other neat features in this airplane is one, the fact that you can customize it. Okay, so for example, the Sling 2 comes standard in LSA. So basically you can buy a standard airplane directly factory built. The second option for the Sling 2 is that you can buy this as a kit and build one yourself. And Airplane Factory does offer a build assist program uh, where you can build your airplane within six months, literally. And I thought one of the really nice things that you can customize, for example, is that stick. So if you check my review on the Slink 4, I talked a little bit more in depth about this. For me personally, a lot of the LSA, for example, have this standard stick. And for me, I have really big hands and I prefer a stick that's a little bigger and a little thicker and again I'm also used to flying an airplane where the stick is a little bit thicker in size so for me personal preference I'll probably change that and something like that doesn't even cost that much it will run you probably a few hundred dollars uh, another thing that you can customize again is your panel now for most pilots they stick with the standard glass cockpit from MGL but if you want a little bit more, you can always opt in for the Dynan or the Garmin G3X. And that will run you just a little bit more money. And the sample airplane we're taking a look at today actually comes with the Garmin G3X Touch. Another really cool feature about the Sling 2 is that just like the Big Brother, you have that electronically controlled pitch prop. Uh, what that means is that instead of having to use a lever to pull to adjust your prop blade, all you have to do is just hit a switch. Again, in my review of the Sling 4, I, I talked a little bit more about this in depth. Also, the Sling 2 does come with handbrakes. And I remember when I flew the Sling 4, uh, once we touched down, I was advised to use the handbrakes during taxiing rather than use your foot brake. So again, just a few things you may need to adjust to uh, if you're coming from another type of aircraft into the Sling 2. Now, in terms of performance, the Sling 2 will cruise easily at 120 knots. It does come standard with a Rotax 912 engine, uh, which puts out 100 horsepower. Um, but the really cool thing about the Sling 2, again, if you opt in for the kit build, 
is that you can always upgrade your engine to a Rotax 914. Okay, now you get a little extra horsepower at 115 horsepower, but what's more important about the 914 is that turbo charge. Uh, so you get a lot more uh, with the 914. Again, being that this airplane is in the LSA category, your cruise speed still has to be limited to 120 knots. You cannot go beyond that. The sling tool will climb at 900 foot per minute. Now, depending on what the weather is doing, uh, the same spec was actually set for the Sling 4, and I remember the day I flew the Sling 4, we were doing a thousand feet a minute. So, depending on what the wind is doing or how the outside temperature is, you may be able to get even more performance from this airplane. And in range, the Sling 2 would travel up to 800 nautical miles or more. Now, again, for me personally, I can't spend more than two to four hours in this airplane. So if you're up for it, you can definitely sit in that cockpit for a long time and be able to take this thing on a cross-country flight. Now, who is this airplane for? When you think of LSA, a lot of pilots get into the LSA category aircraft uh, mainly because of costs and maintenance. And the Sling 2 does really well with that. Now, price. This is probably the most important thing anyone looking to get into this airplane will look at. So used, you can find these airplanes around 120, 125. Brand new, paint job, everything factory built. You're looking at a little bit over $150,000 brand new for this airplane. If you want to know more about this airplane, you can go ahead to www.airplanefactory.com. Uh, that's their website in the US. And you can call them directly. You can reach out to them directly and ask all the questions that you want to. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, slap that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much, guys. I will catch you on the next video.